Five investigates tonight the disability retirement of a police sergeant and its connection to the controversial hiring of his son as a police recruit in Quincy is coming into question. This after our Kathy Curran began digging into this case. Kathy. Emily and Ed, the disability retirement at the center of this case resulted in preferential treatment of that sergeant's son. And sources tell us the attorney general's office is now looking into that disability. John Ryan has been trying to land a job on the Quincy Police Department for years, taking the civil service test multiple times but never getting hired. He was unable to follow in the footsteps of his father, who was a sergeant on the department until now. Sergeant Ryan retired on a disability after a car accident, which was the basis for a special law signed by the governor, allowing his son to move up the eligibility list. Five investigates discovered in 2013 and 2015, Ryan's son was ranked below 100 on the Quincy police hiring list. Then in 2019, after that law passed, he soared past dozens of candidates all the way to number 21. Take a look at that law. It says Sergeant Ryan was injured by an assault on his person while in the performance of his duties. But records we obtained show he was in a car accident and was found at fault. Based on my view, it, there was no third party that was assaulting the officer. Attorney George Price is a former federal agent and prosecutor who reviewed the case for five investigates. It looks like a motor vehicle accident. Um, involving uh, perhaps the negligence of the officer. The story of what happened on that day in 2010 was modified by the department in internal computerized records years later when Sergeant Ryan applied to retire on a disability. The city claiming the initial records were incomplete. Our investigation sparking a Quincy City Councilor to call on the Attorney General to review the case. I think there's going to be uh, a lot of people raising some major concerns about it. I certainly would think they would. I would if it was me. And in a statement, Quincy Mayor Thomas Koch says, I was presented an opportunity to assist one of our police officers, an officer from a family with a long history of service and sacrifice to our community who broke his neck while on duty. I would act on that opportunity again tomorrow. We reached out to Sergeant Ryan, but didn't hear back and no comment from the Attorney General. Kathy Carr in five investigates.